Well, hello there, guys, and welcome to my channel. My name is Kip Bowman. I'm a content creator, and I'd like, I'd like to thank you for joining me on this brand new video. I really guys appreciate your support. You guys are so amazing. So, I'll be doing another Retro Finds video. I haven't done it for a while. It's been a long time since the last video I did back in 2021. So, I'll show, first of all, I'll show you some, some old video games I collected. Some of you are quite familiar. I have I have done some showing some PlayStation games and some old PC games. Okay, I show I got. I have got Crash Bandicoot 3 Warps and Crash Team Racing. And I, I really like Crash Bandicoot games. So I have as you might realise, had some beer and where. I have collected those from CX when I when I went out shopping in Western Faithful. But it depends what games are really expensive. Sometimes they do have the exclusive video games they could be sold in second hand shops. Or you can find these on eBay. Obviously. It depends how depends on the conditions like pristine or good very good condition. So let's start with let's start look at Crash Bandicoot 3 Warps. I know Crash Bandicoot is my favourite video game. I really love Crash Bandicoot. And I have got I have got this game as we mastered version on PS4 is Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. I also have a collection is Crash Bandicoot, Crash Bandicoot, Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex, Cortex Strikes Pack. So you can look at this, you can see his original artwork. You can see Crash Bandicoot riding in his, in his motorcycle. Is my bike, I call it. And you can see Tiny Tiger. And you can see Crash and his sister, Coco Bandicoot. I think you might be familiar with Crash Bandicoot games. And it's got this case. It's got a little, firm, little slight crack on the phone case. But this is very good condition. And let's have a look at this book clip. But you can see here, just above this PlayStation logo, just a little rare. It's got a rare. T a bit. It's got a little int ta rare tax on the corner. This book here. This is an instruction manual. Yep. This is on um, platinum. Platinum version. Platinum edition. And you can look at the whole case. And. That's his Patman desk. Well, so um, it's got a lot of dust on it. It's got a little, min some few scratches. But, but I will go to clean. Also, all I could do, um, it needs to be a cleaning, and perhaps I might test it later. Perhaps I might test it next time. Let's see how we can test them out. And um, it, it's this original jewel case. It's, it's like um, clear plastic. You can look in the back here. It's got um, stick, still has sticker on the back, which it's got from CX. It's about 12 quid. That's, it's just cost about 12 quid. I bought Crash Bandicoot games on PlayStation. It depends how expensive you can collect any game consoles or this is this is this is released in nineteen ninety eight. I should crash by the Q three. It consists in the back cover. It says analog control compatible. It's got vibration function compatible. It's got one block of memory cards. It's got one player. Look at the whole case. But don't worry. But don't worry about the stick on the back. But 
I have not removed it yet since I bought it on CX. These are ex it's got names of um, people who don't know. So if you don't know those people who own who had it. Yeah. This is um it's got a lot you can see a logo on the bottom. It says Sony Computer Entertainment Home Entertainment. It's got Universal Interactive Production Interactive Studios by Universal. Originally, this is the original developer is Naughty Dog. Some of you are quite familiar with um gaming company called Naughty Dog. I think Naughty Dog did um you did develop a game called Last of Us. So, um, I'll show you the next game I've got. You know, just like I showed you earlier, before I start showing the game, with you this. This is um, CTR, stands for Crash Team Racing. This is made, this is made, this is really, this is um 1999 game. I think it's a one year after Crash Bandicoot was released. A, a third Crash Bandicoot game. And the Crash a first Crash Bandicoot was a first ever Crash Bandicoot was made in made its appearance in nineteen ninety six, so same as Lara Croft from Tomb Raider. The same year it was released on PlayStation. And <clears throat> it's also you can look in the back carefully. It's got two player or one, three blocks of three memory. It's got memory block, card blocks. You can you can get one or two, one or three. Multiple tab of adaptable. It's got you can get one player or four players. It's got analog control compatible, vibration. Function compatible, and this you can see here. This is this is original artwork, cover art. You can see the PlayStation in the front. You can see the PlayStation logo. It's PlayStation Pal. Right. Last thing before we're looking at disc, let's start with look at this book clip instruction manual. And it's still got a lot of um, wear, it's got wear intact on the corner of this page, front cover, front page. Yep, it looks so interesting. You can see Crash Bandicoot holding the trophy. It's like a cart race, it's like a racing cart, racing carts. You can see Cortex and Coco, Dr. Cortex and Coco. Now, um, okay, let's check in the disc. So, um, it's got a lot of dust on it. It's got a little slight bit of scratches. Well, we're going to test it. Well, I'll have to deal with it. I'll go to test them sometimes to see how it works. They see it gets on, but there was no problem. Okay, so. Right. Uh, it's, that's all the good condition. It's get came with original art cover and uh, with booklets. There was not there was no damage on cases and disc, but that was a very good condition. Yeah. And this front cover, just a little, just a little slight wear wears on it, but. But our cuff is also in good condition. But there's no problem. Yep. It's okay, so I hope you enjoy this video about doing the retro finds. Since I haven't done it for a long time. It's been a while. Okay, so if you if you enjoy this video about the retro finds, hopefully I'm gonna find some more PlayStations. Which is from an, which is um, about twenty years old, about nineteen nineties, and 
we're going to find um, PlayStation Plat Platinum. And I'll see what original developer logos will look like. That's really interesting to learn something about. It depends how rare that video games are to find. Especially if you can find it on eBay. Sometimes they can do like, auctions to sell them. Okay, so guys, um, leave your comments down below and give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video about retro finds. Hope. Okay, so remember, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit this bell notification. It's important to don't miss out the future contents. Also, you can check out my social media is Pinterest, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. I really appreciate you guys to support me there. That would be really good help there. Okay, guys, so I'm about to head off and please stay tuned and thank you very much.